good morning i welcome you to today's video and lesson now this lesson is about a typical practical experiment that has to do with the glass prism or the glass block and that is the these are the instructions for the practical then i read them Fix a plain sheet of paper on the drawing board. Place the rectangular glass prism on the paper and trace its outline A, B, C, D. Remove the prism. Draw a normal NMP to meet AB and DC at M and P respectively such that AM is equal to DP and is equal to 2CM. Trace the ray PQ with two pins P1 and P2 at P and Q respectively such that angle MPQ is equal to I and is equal to 5 degrees. Replace the prism on its outline. Trace the emergent ray with two other pins P3 and P4 such that the the line in a straight line with P2 and the image of P1 viewed through the glass prism. Measure and record theta, the angle between the emergent ray and the face AB of the glass prism. Evaluate cos theta and sin i. Repeat the procedure for four other values of i, which are 10 degrees, 15 degrees, 20 degrees, and 25 degrees. Tablet your readings. Plot the graph of cos theta on the vertical axis and sin i on the horizontal axis. Determine the slope of the graph. And lastly, state two precautions taken to ensure accurate results. So these are the questions, and this, this is the question, and these are the instructions which are. also made with the vertical but inside the glass okay so that is that and I know you've taken note of that so don't get confused when I use my eye as a different eye as a different value so throughout this experiment the eyes that you are being given which are 5 10 15 20 and 25 degrees are actually
so we all input everything in our table of values we have different column column for i column for theta column for sine i and column for cosine of uh, theta so we input the value there they give us i to be five degrees theta from our calculation is 82.49 sine of i is 0 0.087 and the cosine of theta is 0 0.1307 so we move to the next one so when the when the eye given now is 10 degrees the same procedure still occurs at 10 degrees here now the angle of refraction is also 10 degrees reason because they are all they are alternate angles then we follow the same procedure the refractive index of a glass block 1.5 is equal to sine i which is the one in pink we are looking for all over sine of time sine 10 degrees and simplifying and looking getting the value of i evaluating the value of i from that formula we finally got the value of i which is 15.01 degrees it doesn't end there so also to get the value of theta we also recall about complementary angles which sum up to 90 degrees so here 15.01 plus theta will give me 90 degrees okay so now theta evaluating for theta we find that theta is 74.99 degrees and hence our table of value now becomes okay now at 10 we have the filling for 10 when i is 10 theta is 74.99 sine i is 0.1736 and cos theta or the cosine of theta is now 0 0.2590 so the same procedure goes on for when i that we are given is now 15 degrees and when i is 15 degrees you can see the alternate angles the the angle of refraction there is also 15 degrees with the alternate angles and we follow the same procedure nothing changes 1.5 is equal to sine i which is the one in pink okay over sine 15 which is the refracted angle of refraction then also evaluating everything we have that our i here is 22.84 degrees so also complementary angles they sum up to 90 degrees so from there we evaluate the value of our theta so theta here now is 90 minus 22.84 degrees which will give me 67.16 so all this we now input them in our table of values so we now add another row to our table of values so i is 15 degrees theta 67.16 sine of i 0.2588 and cosine of theta is 0.3882 so the same procedure goes on for when i is 20 degrees as you can see then 1.5 is equal to sine i over sine 20 then we follow the same procedure again evaluate for i there which is 30.86 degrees then remember complementary angles okay which sum up to 90 degrees so evaluating for the value of theta from there we have that theta minus 30.86 is equal to 59.14 degrees so the new value of our theta is 59.14 one interesting thing about this is that it just gives us the, the accurate measurements accurate accurate measurements oh my goodness accurate measurements your practical can never be accurate if you follow this method okay so this will give you the best values that you can ever think of that is why i teach my students to use this method to tackle their practical problems yes they can decide to perform the practical later but 
due to time constraint and everything this is the this method will save you time to, to give you an accurate result and you off you go so that's the new value of theta then our new table of value now becomes because we've added a new row there 20 that's the value of i on the column of i theta is 59.14 sine i is 0 0.3420 and cos theta is 0 0.5130 you can see my table of values you can see the uniformity in the decimal places is very very important there should be uniformity in your decimal placement and lastly when i is 25 degrees so we indicate we indicate that in our diagram and measure appropriately then you can see that the angle of refraction and the angle we are given they are equal because they are alternate angles so following the same procedure as well sine i over sine 25 degrees is equal to the refractive index of a glass block which is 1.5 evaluating for i we now see that i is 39.34 degrees and not forgetting the, that complementary angle sum up to 90 degrees so we now have that that is 9.34 plus theta will give me 90. So evaluating for theta there, theta is now 50.66 degrees. Then we add the rest, the last row to our table of values. So we have that i here is 25 degrees, theta 50.66, so i is 0 0.4226 and cosine of theta is 0.6339 so we have our table of values so the next thing we are going into now is our graph plotting graph plotting we have our table of values there with us everything as you can see remember in your graph in your graph plotting that the title of the graph is very 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 important it carries marks which should not be taken for granted and after the title of the graph the next thing that should follow is the scale we use i'm not talking about that now because i believe that you should know that so you should choose your skills different skills for the vertical axis and the horizontal axis depending on your choice then the the x-axis of the graph and the y-axis, that's the vertical axis and the horizontal axis of your graphs, should have the their respective units. Don't forget that. So this is the graph. This is a graph of cos theta. Sorry about that. I'm talking about theta. Cos theta again sine i. And um, so that is the graph so you can see plotting this graph i use the graph plotter to plot this graph plotting this graph gives us a straight line graph and that is also what you will get nothing short nothing less so your graph is gonna be a straight line graph perfect graph and people will be wondering how come there is no need for look there is no need, there is no need of looking for line of best fit because you get what's exactly what you need from the graph so they say we should look for our slope so the slope of the graph is calculated by the change in the values of change in the vertical axis yeah change in the values of the vertical axis over the corresponding change in the values of what we have in the horizontal axis so we are going to take two points from our table of values okay we are going to use two points from our table of values so from the vertical axis as from the column of cos theta we are going to use 0 0.3882 minus 0 0.2590 then all over 
from the from the horizontal axis which is sine i all over 0 0.2588 minus 0 0.1736 then uh, evaluating everything you see the slope gives us what 1.51 which is what the value of the refractive index of a glass block so you can see that this practical hinges on the value of the refractive index of a glass block so if you don't know that that's the beginning of the failure so don't forget about the value of the refractive index of a glass block it is 1.5 and that is what you will use to tackle problems concerning glass prism or glass blocks that is the practical now concerning the precautions taken to ensure accurate results since we are using a measuring instrument, we are going to read out some measurements which must ensure that we avoid error due to parallax. Error due to parallax is one of the errors that must be avoided when we are taking readings from a, a measuring device. Then the second precaution we have to take is to ensure that The table or the table which you are performing the experiment on is not being shaken you know to in order to avoid uh, altering the values you are getting from your practical so ensure a steady table for your practical okay so avoid error due to parallax ensure that the environment is steady the table is steady it's not being shaken okay so that's that so that's two precautions that you need to take so we've come to the end of this video and don't forget to like and uh, share and also click the subscribe button for more videos like this and if you have any questions and uh, any questions where you want me to put you through don't forget to put the go to the comment section and, uh, and type the question i will respond i will really respond to you and if you find this video helpful share too thank you so much and god bless you